In this guide, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the product attributes feature on your Ecamm online shop. From the dashboard, you need to click the features tab on the left hand side. That will take us through to the features page, which lists all of the features that you've installed so far on your Ecamm online shop. This is only a little test shop that I have, so I have hardly any features on there. However, from here, you need to click feature library on the top left, and that will take you through to all of the available features that you can install. You can search for product attributes using the search bar up here, but I prefer to click view more for the made by EKM features, and then I can see that entire group. And if I scroll down, product attributes is the purple icon with the bullet points on it. Click that and it will take you through to this page, which explains a little bit of bump about the feature and what it does. And you just need to click install feature in the bottom right hand corner. Now, this feature, you do a little bit of configuration within the feature itself. And then once you've done that, you do your next bit of configuration within the add edit product window on the products themselves. OK, so when you first install the feature, you'll have something that looks like this. So. At the top, do we want to enable product codes? Do you want to allow customers to look for products according to the code attributed to them? So yes, you do. Um, enable product recommended retail price. This is really useful if you regularly sell products where you're selling them below the RRP. If you are, that's fantastic. If you populate those products with the RRP, and also populate them with the price that you're charging for those products, what happens is, is then on the product page, the RRP price will be shown with a strike through it, and then underneath it will be your cheaper price. And it's just an extra, extra visual signifier um, to show customers how much money they could be saving. So that's worth doing if you do that. Enable product brand. Do you want to uh, add brands to products and allow customers to look for specific products according to their brand? Tick that box. Uh, enable product condition. This isn't used as often, but if you sell antiques or reconditioned, refurbished products, you would probably use this and you can add the product condition on there. So you can add in, you know, is it refurbished? OK, uh, but like I said, this isn't used too often. It's only on shops that sell older or refurbished secondhand things. All right. Then you've got enable product weight. And this one's really important. If you add a weight attribute to each of your products, it allows you to set up a weight based delivery method, which is the best way for setting up a delivery method, because um, what happens is when the customer's added a number of products to the cart and they get to the checkout, the system has already added up the total weight for those products and knows how much to charge in shipping. And if you look at all the different shipping companies and like Royal Mail and all the couriers, a lot of their price lists are based on weight. So with that in mind, it really is worth adding product weight. And then finally, we've got enable custom attributes and you need to add this. Everyone needs to add this. So enable custom attributes enables you to add attributes to your products so your products can be submitted to Google Search Console and Google Merchant Center. OK, so Google is smart, but it doesn't have eyes. So it requires you to add attributes and labels to your products so it knows what they are. So some people will know these as SKUs or it could be EANs or it could be GTINs or MPNs. We do have a lot of guides on this on our support center. OK, that's worth looking up. However, once you've ticked the boxes that you'd like, you just need to click save. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into a product window here. So I'm just going to pop into the add edit product window for this item and I'll show you what all of the different um, attributes look like. So under more options, you'll see attributes. Click this. So we've got a weight here for this product. OK, I must have added this in previously on this online shop. So I'm saying the weight of this product is 2.8. We'll give it a brand name of Prodigy um, and that's me adding the weight and the brand to it. If I just save that and then come out of that and go on to basic details. Um, if I let's see, we've got our edit variant prices. Here we go. So we've got all the different prices down here. 
because uh, this product has variants and I can add an RRP price and I can add a cost price as well but for this I can add an RRP price and a regular price as well okay so if my RRP is cheaper than my regular price it's really worth adding that RRP too now um, also in the realms of attributes if I just pop back in some variants and I pop edits on here okay and then um, looking at this specific variant if I click attributes you've got this custom attributes window here so I must have added a product code to this previously as well as the weight if you click in the name box here you can see all of the different attributes now what attributes you add depends on what kind of product it is if it's like a machine part it's probably an MPN if it's a book it'll probably be an ISBN um, most products have an EAN, which is often just known as the barcode number. OK, but you can flip through here and add yourself um, like an SKU, for example, we'll choose SKU. Then you'd add the value in here and click add. Now, the way I'm doing it here is manual. So I'm adding each of those details manually to that one product within the um, add any product window. We don't expect you to do that like manually for all of your products. The best and quickest way to do this is to install the import export system feature and then when you've installed that you can export all your products out onto a spreadsheet and then you can add all of those custom attributes so your eans your gtins your skus and so on and all of your weights you can add them all to a spreadsheet and then upload them again if you are going to do that, I would recommend that you set up one product and a product with variants as well, if a lot of your products have variants. Set up one product manually first, then export everything to a spreadsheet. And then you can see that one product that you've done already, you can use that as a guideline for adding the custom attributes to the rest of your products. All right. Now, as always, we've got a ton of support guides on this. So to find the support center, you need to go support to support.ekm.com. If you just run a search for Google Shopping, you'll see lots and lots of guides on there. And as always, if videos are more your thing, then come and find us over on YouTube as well. Just bob onto youtube.com, type in EKM, and you can find us on there.